Hello friends, welcome to Rinku's Rasoi. Today I am going to show you how to make kansar in microwave. So I am making quick and easy version of kansar. So first I am going to take one ball of water. In this water I am going to add two tablespoon of ghee and three tablespoon of jaggery. Good. Now I'm going to put this in microwave for 3 minutes. While my water is in microwave, I'm going to take another ball and I am adding one ball of kansar flour. This is coarsely ground wheat flour. So it is easily available in the Indian store. In that I am going to add 3 tablespoon of melted ghee. Make sure the ghee is nice warm and melted so it will be easy for you to mix it. So I'm just going to add this ghee and mix everything very nice so make sure to mix thoroughly so all the wheat flour is coated nicely with the ghee so just mix it like this so here my flour mixer is ready so now I'm going to add my water which I put it in the microwave I'm going to add this in this flour mixture so here as you can see everything is nicely mixed I'm just going to stir one time And I'm going to add this water in this flour mixture and then mix everything. Everything is nicely mixed. Now I'm going to pop this into the microwave for 2 minutes. So this is out from the microwave and then I'm going to mix it. Just one more time like this. Now again I am going to put this in a microwave for one and a half minute. So this is out from the microwave. As you can see the water is nicely absorbed. It's very nice and fluffy mixture. Mix everything one more time. And now again I am going to put this in microwave for one minute. But this time I am just going to put for 30 seconds, mix it and then again put it for 30 seconds. So this is out from microwave. Now I am going to cover it with the plate and I am going to let it rest for 5 minutes. So it's been 5 minutes and as you can see our kansar is ready. Now I am just going to let it just fluff it up like one time. And look at the texture is nice, fluffy and, and all the grains is puffed up very nice and very soft. Look at the texture. Now I'm going to serve my kansar. To serve the kansar, take the kansar in the bowl. Just take it like this. Then drizzle some ghee on the top. Quantity of ghee is depends upon your uh, choice. With this much of kansar, I like to add almost one tablespoon of ghee. And then sprinkle some powdered sugar on the top. So here your kansar is ready. So try this very simple and easy recipe of kansar at your home. And I will see you with the next episode of Rinku's Rasoi. Till then happy cooking.